Hello everyone, I hope you all are taking good care of yourself. In this video, we are going to talk about itching, which is a very common in CKD patients. To begin with, let me tell you that our kidneys play an important role in keeping our body clean by filtering the blood and removing waste such as creatinine, urea, potassium. If the kidney fails to function properly, the waste accumulates in the blood and it can cause harm to various organs as a sensitive organ react very quickly when it comes in the touch with the toxins like creatinine and urea in the case of kidney failure patient creatinine level increases and it leads to the accumulation of the waste as a result the skin may also contain high level of creatinine and other toxins the, when the level of the creatinine rises it can result in the sensation of itching throughout the body it may affect your whole body or it can be limited to a specific area, usually your back or arms. Itching tends to affect both sides of the body at the same time and may feel internal, like a crawling feeling just below the skin. Moreover, when the kidney level go up, it can cause problems. That's why it's important to keep an eye on your kidney levels. But the question arises, how do we do that. So there are two ways to manage it. I suggest either reducing or removing it. And this is my advice to my patients suffering from CKD. It's best to work on both methods. One of the first step to improve your health is to make changes to your dietary habits. If you consume food that are high in protein such as non veg chicken, mutton, fish or lentil milk, it could contribute to your higher level of Ketanin. We need to understand that ketanin is a protein based waste material. When we, you consume more protein, you increase the amount of ketanin. This can lead to higher level of acidity and itchiness in the body. To address this issue, it is recommended that you cut down on protein in your diet. This way you can reduce the formation of ketanin in your body which can help stop the level of ketanin from increasing. However, even if you stop consuming protein altogether, ketanin will still exist although it will not increase any further. So coming to the another method which is to decrease the level of ketanin that involves improving the kidney function. Hear me out. Your kidney usually does not get damaged by itself. It's possible that there is something we need to take care of on our end. We need to ensure that both sugar and blood pressure level remain within normal range to prevent further damage to the kidney in the future. As you all know that our liver has the ability to regenerate, but our kidney do not share this ability. However, the nephrons which are present in our kidneys increase their ability to function instead. Therefore, in the case of patients suffering from kidney failure, their focus should be on improving the functioning of the kidney or functioning of the nephrons. By doing so, the patient's kidney will be able to process more blood and excrete more ketanin and urea through urine. So at last, I would like to conclude that reducing the ketanin level in kidney failure patient can also reduce itchiness. So it's important for us to prioritize blood cleaning to minimize complication and improve overall well-being. Regardless of whether itching is present, this can help the functioning of the kidneys and more chances of avoiding the need for dialysis or transplant. I hope this information has shed light on the root cause of itchiness in kidney failure patient and possible treatment options. I will see you all in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.